Hello and welcome to Easy Olympiad Maths. This is previous year paper of IMO for class 2, set A. New users, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new uploads. Let's start the video. Question 1 is, if the same pattern is followed in all the three figures, then find the missing number. Now see figure 1, 2 and 3. Identify the pattern and find the missing number. Next question. Study the given figure and answer the following question. Now see the figure. Some pants are given. You have to find out the length according to the given scale and arrange the given pants from longest to the shortest. Third is, which of the following figures is same as figure X? Now see figure X and identify from the options which figure is same as figure X. Fourth is, find the odd one out. Now look at the options carefully and find the odd one out. Question number fifth is, count the number of straight lines in the given figure. Now see the figure. Count the straight lines in the given figure. Sixth, the adjoining figure shows the roots of Mona who walks from X to Y and Lisa who walks from S to T. Dash walks the shorter distance. Now look at the figure. Mona walks the distance from X to Y and Lisa walks from S to T. Who walks the shorter distance? Now see the options carefully and choose the correct option. Next question. Dash groups of 9 tomatoes each can be formed from the given tomatoes. Now from these tomatoes given here in the figure form groups of 9 and then calculate how many groups of 9 tomatoes each can be formed. Question 8. Which of the following figures will complete the pattern in figure X? Now see figure X. Now look at the options A, B, C and D and choose which option will complete the given pattern. Question 9th. There are three friends, Sonia, Avni and Diksha. Sonia is taller than Diksha. Diksha is not taller than Avni. Sonia is not the tallest. Then who is the tallest? Now, Sonia is taller than Diksha. But Diksha is not taller than Avni. And Sonia is not the tallest. Now who is the tallest? Next question. If box is called bag, bag is called cap and cap is called lunch box, then in which of the following will students keep books and notebooks while going to school? Question 11th is, if the weight of all the cones are same, then the weight of one cone is 
Now see the figure. Five cones are given, and the weight of five cones is given in the weighing machine. It's between forty and fifty. So, what is what will be the weight of one cone? See solution at the end of video. Question number twelve to thirteen. The given pictograph shows the number of apples sold by Wunsch in six days. Now see the pictograph. Each apple represents five apples. So first you calculate how many apples sold on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and consider each apple equals to five apples. So, I have given given a hint for Monday. Six apples are there. So, one apple represent five apples. So, it will be six into five, thirty apples sold on Monday. Similarly, calculate for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now. Question number twelve. On which two days the same number of apples were sold by Wunsch? Question number thirteen. How many total number of apples were sold on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all together? Question fourteenth. Select the correct statement. A. The largest three-digit number formed by using all the digits nine, four, and seven is an odd number. B. The place value of two in five, two, three is two. C. Forty-two tens. Is same as four zero two. D. The number ninety nine comes just before the smallest three digit number. Now choose the which is the correct statement. You can see the solution at the end of video. Question fifteenth. If five, one, two, three, four, five, five star plus two triangle equals to thirty, and three star plus two triangle equals to twenty-two, then find the value of star. Now in both the equations, number of triangles are equal, and since we have to find the value of star, we have to remove the triangles from the equation. So What we will do is we will subtract the two equations, and we will get the value of star. Question sixteenth is Akshit bought two xylophones and three trumpets. The amount of money spent by him is now cost of one xylophone and one trumpet is given. Akshit bought two xylophones and three trumpets. So calculate that cost and then find out how much money he spent. Question seventeenth: A clock is thirty-five minutes fast. What is the actual time if it is showing eight fifteen a.m.? Clock is thirty-five minutes fast, so we have to calculate the actual time. It is showing eight fifteen a.m. now. Check the solution at the end of video. Question eighteenth: Arrange the following numbers from greatest to the smallest. Now option P, Q, R, S. Are given in forms of tens and ones, 
So solve this equation first and then arrange the numbers from greatest to the smallest. You can use the hint given here. Check solutions of some questions here. Thanks for watching. If the video is useful, please like, share and subscribe.